Hey guys, Mickey Tech here. Uh, I've just got iOS 6 Beta 4. I've gone over it and done a, I'm going to do a review on it of what I've found and stuff like that. It's only a couple of things. It is mainly just bug fixes and things like that. But some of you might know, some of you might not already know. Um, YouTube application has now gone. The Apple have done away with the YouTube application. So as you can see here, there is no YouTube application. I'll just show some of you that think I'm lying. There we go. That is the Beta 4. So, YouTube is gone, Apple have done away with it, uh, falling out with Google as usual, as you can tell, it's no longer Google Maps either, as we already know, Apple have done away with Google. Um, I'm a little bit angry, uh, they've done away with the YouTube app, because I really did like that app. Um, I know quite a lot of people didn't, they hadn't changed it since 2007, which I think they could have done something with it. But they haven't, so I'm a little bit peeved about that. You can no longer, if I go into video, actually no, in video, there we go. Look there, there's a YouTube application. Sorry about the blurriness, I'm recording on my phone because my camcorder is out of battery. So, you can still vlog and stuff with your phone and send to YouTube, so the application is still built in but you can't view it, you can't, you haven't got the application on your screen to click on and go. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that, um, but oh well, we will plod on and I will just read this statement uh, from Apple. Apple have released this statement um, saying our license to include the YouTube app in iOS has ended. Customers can use YouTube in the Safari browser and Google is working on a new YouTube app to be in the App Store. So hopefully guys it won't be long and Google will have their application in the App Store. Uh, but for you guys on the beta, that probably won't be until iOS 6 is actually officially released. So if you want to update, you're not going to have the application there if you want the if you use that application. Uh, if you don't use it then yeah, I'd say update to iOS 6, but if you use it on a regular basis, I'd stay stay on iOS 6 Beta 3. So, moving on to the next thing that I've noticed is Passbook. Now, Passbook has a new added feature, App Store. We can click on this App Store, but nothing will happen. It say cannot connect to iTunes Store. So, they've added that. So, that is a slight update they've added to Passbook. Um, apart from that, I must admit, guys, they're the only two things I've really noticed that I have found. But if you have found any more, please, guys, share with other people and let me know. Leave in the comments below, because um, then I will come back and do a later review if there is more features that, you know, that stand out. But the two major features is YouTube is gone and Passbooks now has the App Store button at the bottom. So I'm a little bit gutted. But I'm sure Google will bring one out sharpish. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, please thumbs up the video. It really does help me out. And hit that subscribe button for more footage and everything on the betas, iOS 6 betas and news. So thank you very much, guys. Remember, please leave in comments below what you th if you've found any more um, things that I've missed. I'm sure there are probably some that I've missed. But if there's plenty enough to... I've missed, I'll do another video. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.